Good CC3 skeletal as well as facial animation is dependent on the mesh itself being in a balanced T-pose like the default here, along with the head being directly forward gazing. The new pose adjust morph set makes it possible to adjust some important aspects of the static model's pose directly here in CC3. These specialized morphs affect the head, arms and hands and allow for subtle pose adjustment via the mesh itself in order to change bone orientations. So if you're working on a model which is not well posed in the first place, these morphs can help correct pose issues. By changing head orientation to alter the model's gaze and to correct for any positional irregularities. And to adjust the arms from the shoulders down to the wrists which can reduce the amount of external editing needed, particularly when working on scan-derived CC3 models. So, let's see how these morphs can help when working directly on a scan model, which has obvious pose issues. I demonstrated how to adjust pose using 3D Studio Max in the second scan optimization tutorial, and we know that this model has particular issues at the shoulders, as well as the head not being forward gazing. So here, Instead of creating a morph externally, I can use a pose adjust morph to begin to improve the head orientation. And whilst I could fine tune this much further using the morphs, I'll move on to the shoulders and arms, because as you'll see, there are lots of pose issues here which can now be corrected directly in CC3. It's worth noting that by default, the morph maximum and minimum range is quite small. This is because morph distortion can occur, especially with rotations. And whilst you can type in higher morph values, as I'm sometimes doing here, it's important to be aware that morphs transform vertices linearly, so very high values can visibly distort the mesh. In which case, it can be better to apply lower values and to incrementally bake the morphs as you go along. Now, as I hope you can see, I've made some significant pose adjustments simply by morphing here in CC3, and the model's default pose and gaze is now much more like that of the original CC3 default, so I'm baking these changes into the mesh. And next, I'll apply a few poses just to check that the adjustments I've made are a genuine improvement. I think this is looking better, but it's important to keep comparing any changes you've made with the original model. So, loading in the original and using the same pose, you can see just how much the model's pose and gaze have been altered using these pose adjust morphs. And to finish off, just to show you exactly how the morphs are working, I'm resetting the T-pose on the original and showing the bones from the edit pose panel. So now, when I apply a pose adjust morph, you can see that the morph can change the relative bone position, and if it rotates, it can also change the relative bone orientation. This video has introduced the new CC3 pose adjust morphs. Thanks for watching.